About a week ago, Jeb Bush sent media speculation into overdrive when he announced that he was scaling back the size and the cost of his campaign. Immediately, pundits called the move the beginning of the end of Jeb Bush. But to the contrary, Bush thinks it's more of a rebirth in New Hampshire, a critical part of this effort. Jeb Bush has shown that he knows how to govern. And that's what we need as a president of the United States. So and it can't hurt point having point Judd Gregg on your side when you're a Republican looking Jeff for Bush success team. in New Hampshire, as Gregg puts Number Bush two, at the head of the class on issues two, ranging from national security to social down. security. He has put forward more substantive thoughts and ideas in these issues than all the other candidates combined. But in the polls, the one-time Republican frontrunner has struggled. And he points to a cycle that so far has been more about flash than real ideas. The debate last night was a good example of it. There wasn't any substantive question that's where people talk about the questions around their kitchen table. Very few things that, are, that were real. And the horde of media in Portsmouth did little to redeem itself professionally. This is how we're going to campaign, just as all Governor, is it, Governor, are Governor, Governor, is it? As Bush was repeatedly interrupted with Sorry. reporters stepping all over themselves, trying to take a kill shot. What about and here's something about hang, substance? Hang on a second. Man. Calm down. Somehow Bush kept his composure and pledged that over the next couple of months he will break through all the noise. Here's the deal. I'm campaigning harder than anybody else. I have a proven record. There is no one that has the proven record in business and in government that I have. And I'm going to go share that with people. And Jeb Bush is going to be spending a lot of time in New Hampshire as he tries to re-energize his slimmer and trimmer campaign. After this two-day trip, he'll be back here again next week for a multi-day bus tour around the state. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.